I think quite often people uh, look at extremes. Uh, they say, well, uh, you know, I have to restrain this child because of this massive meltdown that's occurring. And I think if your discourse, if you like, about how you're going to engage with some of our disabled learners or, or those who have more complex uh, needs is always about extreme behaviours, you're going to be framing those extreme experiences around how you set up provision. So for me, uh, the idea is about that you can't eliminate stress within everything. You can't actually have a non-stressful environment. It's about levels of stress and how we manage those stresses within people's environment. And I'm very much of the view that as we build up learning experiences for individual learners, we go slowly and steadily with very clear managed plans for those individuals about how we engage with them in various lessons, how we develop and build on on positive experiences and we actually really try and frame their engagement with lessons and learning and school and eventually obviously as we progress through school with their community in very careful steps. I think too often those teachers that talk about constant meltdowns and having to restrain young people is because we're expecting too much from young people before we've actually had good conversations and good metacognitive discussions about them as individuals, their needs and how we can support them as a partnership.